Okay, at this point of the track, I found some old Game Boy style sounds, simply dragged one of them onto an empty drum rack and duplicated it a few times. And I changed the pitch to make two notes harmonize. And those two notes I then duplicated again and tweaked the micro pitches just to add a bit of texture. And at the end, finally, I made a four note chord to play. To loop the recorded part prior to recording, I MIDI learned this pad to the loop record function and also the record arm functions of all of the channels to the various pads. That way I could activate the loop quickly and easily, and once I played in the part to a four bar clip, it would loop. 
Here, I simply dragged another drum rack onto a channel and loaded in the appropriate samples I wanted for the track. To add variation, I opened up the drum rack to display all the available samples and then dragged a reverb with a large pre-delay just onto that rim sample to make it sound like this, as opposed to this. Okay, so very simply here, I loaded the new to live 10 wavetables synth and selected a pad noise and played in my loop after record arming and record loop were initiated. I also then chose a bass noise and did the same procedure for that channel. Here I had a vocal sample loaded already and simply put the launch key into in control mode to show me my available clips and trigger the clip, tweaking effects like reverb, filters and other modulation that I'd midi learned to the other knobs. At the end here on the master channel, I loaded a filter and midi learned the eighth knob to control the frequency so I could end the song with a gradual sweep. Hope you found this helpful. Thanks for spending the time to watch.